Hey everyone, it's Ron, and you're watching what Ron plays. We are here with episode 21 of our Starfield um, live gameplay series, and we are currently on Aquila City, and we're getting ready to um, go to the clinic on Dipala to talk to Ranger Ben Armistad um, and see if we could track down um, where Maya Cruz may have gotten her medical treatment at. Um, we're following the Free Star Ranger um, thread at the moment, so we're going to follow it through and, and see where it takes us. So, um, along the way, if you decide that you like the video, please click like so more people can find the video. Consider subscribing to help the channel grow, and click that notification bell to be notified of our future videos. So, let's get going. And I think we're going to the red line, I think it said. So I think they said it was outside of Restart Space also, so... Oh, this one isn't. I think the other one is. This one is not. This is just a Narian, so that's not a big deal. Oh, we're going to the other star station. So that one, I think, was the... Yeah, the Stroud Uckland one. We've been there before. Um, I chose not to go to the other one because I didn't know who it belonged to, but... I guess now we're going to find out, aren't we? The clinic. Hey, why can't I get... Oh, my lasers are still up. My grav drive is up. So I can boost my engines a little bit. Get there a little bit faster. The clinic welcomes all patients, whether Freestar or UC. Oh, thanks. That's very neutral of you. Try and get there a little faster. Gotta get 500 meters to dock, so let's crank back the throttle. Alright. Still. Still kind of odd to me that that, uh. That gets blurry when we're docking, but the clinics of no. What do I know? I'd appreciate a chat. Captain, it Ma is. I'm just a courier. Pleasure. I understand to see you. I'm not blaming you directly. Need some work done? Doctor Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. That had side quest written all over it, but I guess not. Thanks for delivering critical supplies. Would be nice to hear once in a while. Oh, who am I talking to? Is the guy out here? No. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Look at this old guy just sitting there doing nothing. Not exactly a hotbed of criminal activity here, is it? Well, that suits me fine. What you got going on, Ben? Hello. I can't talk to I guess I can't talk to him from behind his desk. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Why does everybody need to know about my investigation? Hmm. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. 
Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be what, nine, ten years old by now? <laughs> I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. Oh, so, you do. Are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Hmm. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> You can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Oh no, I gotta follow him? But just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here. And I ain't fond of them right back. <laughs> nice laser turrets up on the ceiling back there. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Quiet day. Working hard too much to ask for? hardly working. <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. You better cough up some names or we're gonna torture you! I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Oh, isn't that convenient? Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. Mm -hmm. So who's the suspect you're after? Hmm. Former soldier, huh? You know, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad. The thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore? Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Hmm. That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. So much for, so much for HIPAA. <laughs> I'll just go in the records. I'll dish out. Oh, look at the clones over there. Okay, give me just a minute here. That freaks me out. Something jinky's gonna happen. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally, here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Of course not, but now they know you're looking for it. Come on, talk to me, buddy. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Of course she is. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. <laughs> yeah, let me think for a second. Somebody All probably right, has a lot of scars. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace. What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Hmm. Off the top of my head, yeah. That being said, we don't usually have a lot of patients staying here at any one point in time. Most people can't afford it. Hmm. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. I'll keep looking, see if I can turn up anything else useful. Alright. 
So I need to talk to you. Jane Nakamura? Was that it? Who else was it? Jane Nakamori. And we need to talk to Candace Doolin. All right. We could do that. Where are they at? I'm going to start cracking some knuckles. Oh, I see you in there. I'm no hypochondriac, but maybe we limit our time here with all the Excuse sick people. Excuse me. What gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Hmm. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <laughs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Hmm. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion, much as yours does. What? I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, deputy. You better start coughing some stuff up. Uh-oh, we got six and three, huh? so I gotta do at least a two. No, I can't. Ugh. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm doomed now. May as well try and fail. Not my problem. Oh, gee. All right. I can see that you still have doubts. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Okay. That didn't sound too suspicious. I mean, they can verify who she is. Look at this chippy. Pain's finally starting to get a little more manageable. Why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. They all claim they're too busy. Hmm. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what for. Oh, I'm sure you can. Yes, you're here to track down that no account husband of mine, that is. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So hire hmm. some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Should we maybe, you know, move things along here? What the heck is that? You want to talk about questions, uh huh? Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, a sore back, digestive okay. problems, and then in all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus, but these fool doctors can't figure it out. I've had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Hmm. Well, ain't you smart? using them big words <laughs> if that's supposed to make me feel better i got news for you it don't i thought the high and mighty free star rangers were supposed to help others in need well i am yes me i think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately well, what go on then don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. Why well, isn't she a crabby one? He's gonna tell me he doesn't know nothing about that chick. I think it was the first one. 
Nakamori. You better get up and talk to me, mister. Hey, how'd it go? Oh. Do you have any luck? Hmm. As a matter of fact, I do. Mm -hmm. I made some progress digging through the patient records, and I have one more lead for you. Oh, Her yeah. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She there we go. She rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted to authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. Oh, I can go in there. Think of it as high-end care, with bigger rooms, better food, and more amenities. Cost a fortune, of course. The VIP wing also provides privacy, and that's why only a select few staff members are allowed in. Hmm. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. Or I could just kill him. Where am I going? Oh, look at you. That's not his office. Where'd that doctor go? Oh, he's going farther and farther away. So we'll try it the nice way first. Hmm. Somewhere in his office. Don't need a digipic. Where's he at? He's still pretty far away. Is this his office? I don't even know if this is his office. Oh, here we go. That's why they gave me digipics. Uh, maybe that one? No, that one. Need to hurry. Need to be a little speedy. I can take all that. It didn't say stolen either. I appreciate it. You're able. Oh no, he wants to chat again. Oh my gosh. Where'd he go? Well, I better go shut his door. Can I shut his door? I don't think I can. I can't get. We need to find Cora and talk with her. Oh my gosh. She made it sound like his life or death. Okay, we can't. Can't talk right now. Kind of busy. Okay, let me go talk to this Jamoke and see if he can let me in. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? Where's Dr. Cassidy? We get the cases no one has ever seen before. It's encouraging to know that every case will cure you, likely. Every new alien pathogen we discover is just a okay, forget it. Security. I'm just going for it. Where is she? I know she's in here somewhere. You heard that, Red. Uh oh. Say your prayer. scoreboard back home. So where is she? I guess somebody had a little parte in here. Those are stealing? Come on. There's a med pack there, though. So I seriously can't take this med pack. Well, come on. That's ridiculous. It's a hospital. Oh, I bet you she went out the VIP doc.
No, watch out. Okay, that didn't hurt me. What's that? There's something jinky under here, but I can't get it. Hey now, watch out. See? Major Hall. Mm-hmm. Of course, I can't take anything because everything is stealing. That's jinky. Uh-oh. Sorry, Sam. I don't have a weapon anymore. Oh, because I... Eh. Let's see if I can get back to my ship. Can I get back to my ship? Where's my ship? Yeah, it's not letting me select my ship. All right. Should probably let him know that like there's dead people in the other room, but I guess I don't have to worry about. It. I gotta go catch up to Maya. I'm probably fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Ooh, let me get away from her. <laughs> it's a grab drive. I literally can't get here and ask her. Oh, love this. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Yeah. Oh, on, Come on. Uh, talk to you near Cora. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her for me. Cora. Thank you for talking Cora. to me. So what's I so important that you needed super us? Super important. Something's wrong with mom. Are you just figuring this out? <laughs> no. She's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. You're just figuring that Wait, out. You read each other? Focus. We need to find mom. You believe me, right? Um. Very hmm. serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad. Gumdrop. She's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this. Until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't. Uh, yeah, you too. Listen, I will not forget you doing this for me. Cora's just worried. Don't even get me started about the time she thought ghosts were in the reactor core. I was five, Dad. Five. Lillian will be at the Ranger outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. So. If she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Of course, he's Lillian. Everything will be back to normal. Your oh no! Ship smells so much better than Dad's. We're not doing that right now. A lot. Not happening. I have something I need to discuss with you. Oh, hey. you too. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask uh, how you're feeling. Come on. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Oh, everything was just fine. Hmm. There we That's go. That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. <laughs> According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? I always say things that, like, freak her out. It's kind of funny. Well... Good. I'm pleased to hear that. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. I think she kind of likes me. The problem me. is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Hmm. 
Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. Quite lucky? It's just Come on. That... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Hey, how do you know that? Guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. But we're only at the very beginning. There are still so many questions that need to be answered. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere. These people are very talkative. Indeed. A mystery that I'm, well, hopefully both of us, are determined to solve. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is, unharmed. See, she likes me, I know it. Oh, here we go. Well, yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Ah. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. Yeah, you have. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Well, that's very nice of you. Thanks. Okay, awkward moment over. Let's go back to flying the ship. I need to undock. Alright, so do we need to find out where this Jamoke is. Separation complete. Excellent. Alright. Where where are they at? I'm oh, down here somewhere. Oh look at that. Sakharov. This place is a mess. There's something back behind there. What's that? Oh, let me get out of here. Oh. Oh, that's a planet back there. All right, let me get out of this mess. Ooh, let me get in between the messes. Where's our planet? up the engines a little bit get out of this get out of this mess what's down there slow down So why am I docking with the Eglin site? I'm not even sure. Seals are good, air pressure good, and we're docked. Am I sure this is where I'm supposed to be? I'm not even sure I'm supposed to be here. What's up, Vasco? Disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. What's that? I can't open that thing? That's kind of irritating. So why am I here again? I think it's supposed to be here. Oops, wrong place. No, go back. Find the right one? I am. Okay. 
Investigate the abandoned asteroid mine. So this must be where she's at. Hmm. You know, like this is all kind of sketchy. There's a lot of junk laying around. Okay, I know it's inaccessible, but I had to click it anyway. Just that kind of person. This whole thing is freaking me out. Oh, there we go. So I can't take the suit? Oh, I could. The mannequin has a deep mining suit. What do I have? Oh, I got plenty of room to carry stuff. We'll take that suit. What else do you have? Back weighs six, though. That doesn't weigh much. All right, what took it all? Sorry, mannequin. Oh, here we go. This looks quite dangerous. hear you. I don't know if I believe you, but I hear you. So where is she going to be? Call me crazy, but a little cold is kind of fun. My scanner is like doing nothing for me. All right, where do we think she is? Okay, note to self, do not touch broken switches. So is she up there or is she down there? So I have a feeling there's gonna be like mines and stuff. At least one would think. What's that? I can have something glowing all blue and then I can't grab it. That's jinky. Oh, this is a door. No, I can definitely take... Definitely take ammo. Alright, I don't know that I need anything else. Zero wire you need for construction. Alright. Well, that stuff over there is glowing now. It wasn't glowing before. It's cobalt. Alright. I'm guessing that she's up. I mean, she's probably down, but that's okay. Just looking for mines on the floor. I thought it was going to have something in it. Sam, get out of the way. At least it was some kind of food. Ham. Oh, man. 
What's that? Just a bowl? Alright. Hookah canisters? I think those are light and... And they're actually, uh... Actually quite pricey. Red stick. No way, one of the plushies. Mm, what's up there? Cosmetic supply box. No, thank you. Order a flip lighter and bourbon. Yeah, bourbon and cigar. Med pack. That can't be a good sign. Can not take a toilet paper. That's why she doesn't rig up doors to like close behind me and like drop drop grenades and stuff. What's up here? Med pack? Nice. Another med pack. That can't be a good sign. Tell me where she's at. Kinda is, but kinda isn't. Oh, she's down. She is down. Oh, man. Oh, well. Hopefully I won't get, like, too blown up. Running around doing stuff. Alright, so we likely have to go back to the other... The outside area and go down the stairs. That's what I'm thinking. Anything good in here? I need clothes. What's hidden under there? Jacket. Jumpsuit. The valley's not bad for the weight, but yeah, I just don't want to carry it. Deck of cards, though, is worth it. Alright. Sam, gotta get out of here, buddy. What's that thing? Oh, I don't want those. Alright, so I think we gotta go back out the way we came. Yeah, sure, like way down there. Ooh, look at that. Sam, watch out. No, 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 no. Sam, Sam. Mine right there. Get me. That was not cool. Life in all its messy, gooey splendor. Can't scan him, I guess. All right. I don't think she's in there. Down somewhere. I'm oh, showing an enemy. Cuttable wall.
Turn right, your system failed. Still showing an enemy like right behind me. I'm getting paranoid. I don't like things following me. That thing? No. Alright, well, hopefully nothing will catch up behind me. Watch out for mines and stuff. Still shows her like way down there. Not gonna lie, it's making me a little nervous. So let's keep going, I guess. So that robot was back here, I think. He was like tucked up behind this wall. All you. All right, so we need to go back this way. like way down there. I'm sure there's gonna be more surprises. Just keep your eyes out. Take the stairs. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Look <laughs> once if you hear our spirits. No? Oh, Sam. Alright, I think I'm gonna opt for the stairs. I know the elevator is the easy choice. But it seems like it's a setup. I'm just hoping there aren't... Oh, there are some critters back there. See, I'm hearing that. I'm not a fan. Robot Model S? What does that mean? Oh no! Oh no! They're getting me good! I just let Sam take all the heat. So another one? Jeez. Talk about spray and pray. Oh, I just hit it too. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so where is it gonna take me? Oh, oh, the pain. That's, that's pretty darn painful. <sighs> All right. I need a better weapon for those guys. Let me see. What do I got? I mean, I like that, but... Hmm. 
arc welder. I don't know if that's going to do enough. I think this log here would do pretty good. I'm going to go with the arc welder and see what happens. <laughs> I hope it works. All right. That's right, we can't get through that one. We gotta go this way. Oh, there's probably a... There's probably a computer terminal I can use to get that door open, but... Oh, well, that one's inaccessible. What the... What the blazes? Oh. Button! Ugh. All right. Pretty good. I cut with this. I can't. Oh, what's going on? Sam getting attacked. What was that? Is there something flying? Whatever it is, it's moving around. We gotta get to get. Time to tango. This ain't open. If it gets cold enough, your spit can freeze. Not that I know that from <laughs> personal experience. <laughs> All right, I know it from personal experience. What are you talking about? He's talking about the spit freezing. Right. I'm gonna try to eat some food. Do I have any food? I just need stuff just to give me a little bit of health. There we go. Got a little bit of something, something. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing okay. Right? I think so. Yeah, we don't need to use any of those. All right. Let's get back to business. Well, back through the door. Away. Come on. The robot's not waiting for us that time. He'll be over here, though. Where are you, Mr. Robot? Some robots are scurrying around here. All systems. This does really good damage against the against the robots. Nice. That was that was glorious. Okay, we went down the stairs, right? I mean we could just take the elevator. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Knock once if you hear us spirits. Stop talking about a seance. What are those things? I don't know. Alright, hopefully it won't murder us. Come on, Sam. Not on the elevator again. Sam's always missing the trip. Oh, I see you, creepy thing. Oh, he's a level 20. I cooked that level 20 pretty darn quick. Can I scan him? How come I'm not able to scan these guys? Something inside there. Can I open it?
Hmm. Let me see. Protect me. I'll protect your user. That's good. That's painfully unhelpful. Okay, I think we have to go up here, right? Because... Oh, look at that. Get that robot, I'll get that other guy. Carcass go to waste. That's for me and my friend. Ah! Where's the other one? Robot, what are you doing? Get him, robot. Done. Nope, he's still there. Electricity works great on these guys. And on these guys, too. Getting structurals too, which is nice. Do you have some ammo? No ammo. Ooh, come on. I will take it for sure. What's that? Advanced Deep Core Space Helmet. I'll take that. It looked quite fancy. Whoa! Advanced Space Trucker Spacesuit? Doesn't keep me warm, but combat's way better. Should I grab those blue things? that? I don't need that. What's that? I can't see it. Oh, surgical tray. Alright, Sam. I'll grab that. I'll grab that also. Oh, and a med pack. Over here? Oh. Alright. Go back down there. She's like way down there. So we apparently can't get through that door. I am currently in 
engaged in the completion of my assigned task because I do not experience boredom. I excel in the performance of menial tasks. Can you open that door? Cable right here. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I want to do that one first. If I do that one first, I think it'll be a mistake. Okay, that one doesn't fit. That one does. So now we go back here. Go there. Go there. Go there. Open the door. Thanks. Whatever you're doing, well, looks impressive. Oh, it's impressive, all right. I just followed that cable to open this door. How does it get more impress impressive than that? Or turn on my light. Oh, what was that? Is that my robot? It is my robot. Something just shoot my robot like right off the. What was that? Oh. Do not like electricity. Where's my robot? Did he like get blasted into like a million pieces? Oh no. My robot's dead. That's bad. That's very bad. So where's the show she's at? Still, like, way down there. I kind of want to go on that hab, but I kind of want to get permission over it. I have a feeling the fight's going to be, like, no joke. She's way back there. Do I take the chance? Yes, so. Yes, it's going to wrap around. Yes. This one's, this one's brutal. This is a regular old cutter. Must have to cut a door. I do not feel safe in here. That's annoying. 
All right. Those guys have messed me up. Must, right? Where's the other one? I mean, I'm getting a lot of structural, but man. They put a hurt on me. I have to buy a lot of med packs. Two of them? That was only one? Great. No, get out of my way, Sam. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Oh, my neck is all crunchy because I know this is going to be a, a drag out battle. for mines and stuff. Med pack. Why would you leave that there? Equinox. I'll take it. Pacifier. I don't even know what a pacifier is. of ammo they try to t they try to tell me something okay they're obviously trying to tell me something so I better quick save turn my light off I seriously can't get there this thing better be going down yep Up there, huh? That is a crystal with a capital C. Ooh. 
Now there's stuff everywhere. No! What's hitting me? Holy criminy! Just hit me. Oh, you are. Wow, this is doing nothing. Yeah, he's taking no damage from that thing. So what's up with that turret? Almost out of my juice. Okay. Whew. So five med packs. For some reason, I don't think that turd's doing anything at the moment. Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. Whew. Man. Some serious fighting. No. No, stop hitting me. Just shoot me right in the head. Oh my gosh. How do I avoid that? Okay, this is just too much. I'm stuck inside something. Okay, I need to get up there. Miss. No. took that oh. no no it's gonna send me all the way back there Ugh. all right well, this thing wasn't working on those uh, those big turrets anyways so hmm Pacifier does 81 damage. Poison is not going to help me. Hmm. Let 
me see. Accuracy is 45%. This accuracy is really high. So I'm going to go with that. Man. I think I need to make... I need to make this a favorite, though. So I'll replace that one, because I don't think we need the Grendel right now. Hmm. This is where the duty like hits the fan too. Capital C. See, so I need to find out whether I can take out those turrets right away. Okay. robots first. Where do you go to? There he is. Oh no! Okay. A lot more of those turrets out there. Peekaboo. Grab everything useful. Shane knew what he was firing at. Just like old times. Oh, that's just fire. I'll sit here all day doing this if I have to. I definitely want to get rid of this before it before it lights up again. Oh 
No, come on. Oof. Man, I took a lot of heat from that thing. Is there any others, Sam? Where there's a bunch of crossfire. Well, there's still there's still an enemy over there. Oh, this is uh at least one more cutter there's one more those lasers over here because it was like blasting me from behind there it is it's aiming toward me it hasn't shot me yet come on hurry up starts firing. I'm just pushing the trigger like a hundred times. Sensors report that this area is clear of nice. hostile targets. Because I do not experience order, I excel in the performance of menial tasks. That's wonderful. I'm just trying not to die. Alright, so I think I could almost go back to my another weapon. Cause I'm hoping it'll like beat her up big time. Okay, so we gotta get up. She's like up inside there. So we're gonna have to go across that thing, I'm assuming. So we gotta get up on there. So yeah, I go up these zillions of stairs that'll probably have mines and all kinds of other cool stuff on. Okay, I should do a couple things first. I should use a med pack. And I should also favorite my trauma packs. Because I do have trauma packs. So let me take this one and go one more down. And then what else do we have? Do we have like alien something or another? Um, alien genetic material, 500 damage for 30 seconds. That could be that could be very important. But I guess we just need to confront her first. So I think I'm all right. High health. It's going up. Need to watch out for mines and everything else. She's right, though. She had some serious time to prepare. It's funny. I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> It's just a game for gosh sakes. Better we get it than someone else. Darn right, Sam. All right.
Quick save. Alright. Got you. that reasonably unscathed man this is going to be brutal watch out Sam You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. Probably. But how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. Hmm. Well, how about a test? Rangers Work. are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. Oh, great. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here. And leave me in peace. Hmm. I think I'd prefer to kill her. Bashy Urban Eagle. Okay. Sam's not shooting her up, so that's gotta be a good sign. She's laying down like she's sleeping. Tape measure, not too worried about that. Hmm, what's that? Notepad. Don't really need that. Nothing out here. She's laying down asleep like she's gonna die. Which is okay. I, I'm not I'm not hating that. Oh an empty package when I grabbed it. Yeah, I could kill her, but That's all right. Need to find a bunch of med packs, though. Where does this thing go? And Sam, not on the elevator again. Whew, that was quick. This could be like right next to my ship. Look at it. Open those big giant doors to let me out. Interesting. Well, that's the one that was blowing up that I just had to go sticking my finger on. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Okay. 
This is where he might get some stuff. I'm hurting just watching you. No. Look at that thing. Does more damage the less armor one has. I should give that to to old uh old boy behind me, Sam. He never wears any armor. Oh look at this. What's this? What can I take out of it? Saying I can. He's highlighted like I can take something. Nothing else is lighting up, so. Oh, well, there is some stuff in it. There we go. So now he's still glowing, but he's empty. Um, anything else? Finding valuable stuff like this, for some reason, never gets old. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. What's that thing? Those are all weights. Yeah, I don't think they help me, though. Let's probably find out later it's a huge mistake leaving all that behind, but... I haven't found any way to scrap anything yet, so... Sam, you gotta get out of my way, buddy. Polymer. I needed polymer. That's excellent. I needed polymer for one of my uh, researches. Safe. Oh, it's already open, too. That's nice. Is he gonna need yellow ping pong now? Tempting. Yes, definitely using the med pack. All right, door keeps opening. It's trying to tell me to leave. I got some research to do, but this video is getting quite long. Top floor. So now I'm going back up again. Oh, I just went down. Hope nothing, hope nothing sketchy happens. Everything's still kind of blowing up. Ride. I wonder what the crystal is. I don't know. I'm not worried about it right now, though. Masco, where were you, buddy? There's a lot of, a lot of schnizzler going on. Oh, I didn't get this suit last time. Take it this time. Oh, it had a better suit last time. That's jinky. I'm over encumbered though. I should have went right for the cockpit. All right, so. Mom should have got back to me by now. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Help? We'll get there. So we're gonna have to go back to Aquila because we got to bring that um, tablet back to. Um, Back to be decrypted, so. Dad, have you ever but, tried Aurora? Uh, uh, well, I. Not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. You stay away from that stuff, Cora. Trust me, it's the worst. You know, when a parent says that, that means it's probably really good, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. So I think next next um, episode we're gonna take that encrypted tablet back to uh, back to the rock so he can check it out because obviously that's the information we need. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, which I hope you did, you watched it this far, so please click like um, to help other people find the video. Um, subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow, and click that notification bell to be notified of our future videos. With that being said. I want to thank you again for joining me. I'm Ron, and you've been watching a Ron Plays.